I think if everyone did unto others as they would like done to themselves, there would be a lot more rapists. I don't mess around. The difference between cougars and pedophiles is patience. You can laugh at that. I'm sorry. If you make a dinner date on Indian land, you're making the ultimate reservation. I love Cialis. Because whenever my lover and I are in separate bathtubs, on top of the Grand Canyon, I'm always like, I wish I were hard right now. I think it's strange when people say they're going balls to the wall. I just feel like that's a really inefficient way to get things done. I saw a commercial that said marijuana is a gateway drug to crystal meth. Which basically means crystal meth is awesome. Because why else would you build a gate around it? <laughs> My girl told me to ride her like the rodeo. So you want me to get off after eight seconds? <laughs> Or you want to involve clowns? <laughs> I always tell black people I'm sick. That way, I don't have to deal with their tricky handshakes. <laughs> like, are we going in? Are we snapping? I don't, I don't know. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Since when did shoes take priority over pants? <laughs> Maybe we should be more specific. If a hot chick walks in with no shirt on, maybe let her stay. <laughs> I have a t-shirt that says property of the University of Texas. Also, I have a computer that says property of the University of Texas. Stole that. I picked this chick up at a bar. And she was all like, put me down, put me down. I'm so thankful for the store condoms to go. It was disgusting having to use the condoms in the store. I mean, I can wait a little bit if you want. That's pretty funny. I know sex for money is illegal. But what about sex to raise money for a good cause? Yeah. Like AIDS. Anybody listening to Black Keys in here? Yeah. I didn't know there was a space in their name. I've been calling them the Blackies. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm directing a new movie. It's the sequel to Wedding Crashers. It's called Quintanera Crashers. Not yet rated. I saw a warning on my water bottle that said choking hazard. And I thought this would be a really good tattoo to get in my pelvic region. <laughs> but then I kept reading and it said particularly with small children. <laughs> I thought, not a good tattoo to get in my pelvic region. 
I hate all races. Because I'm so slow. I can't win any of them. Like running races, are we on the same page here? Okay. The only time I've ever been racially profiled was at a Chevy dealership. The salesman was like, hey, you want a white Suburban? I was like, listen here, racist scum. Yeah, I mean, financially, it just really makes sense right now, and I could use the Suburban. Well, that's a little funnier than you guys gave credit for, but, uh... <laughs> If someone left a baby in a box on my doorstep, I wouldn't know what to do. Because a baby's a lifetime commitment. But I'm in the middle of a move right now, so I could really use the box. <laughs> this is my new song. It's called Car Turn Signal. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Fox News recently. Still no news about foxes. <laughs> Maybe you should change your name to Politics News if that's all you want to talk about. <laughs> to humans, it's called an Easter egg hunt. But to chickens, it's called hey! Where's my baby? Some rabbit stole my babies! <laughs> it's, it's about as good as it gets. <laughs> my roommate's a chronic masturbator. I bought a clap on light. Now we both have a strobe light. I have two Facebooks, one's for me, and one so I can be in a relationship with somebody. <laughs> terrorists blow. Up, terrorists blow up. My girlfriend moved in with me recently and found out about my one night stand. She was like, Dominic, we're done. We're through. I was like, babe, it's just a nightstand. But we can go to Ikea and get another one. And avoid this whole issue. There are now military airplanes that can be controlled by a remote. Seventy years too late, says Japan. Pearl Harbor. Oh, show your disapproval. Oh, you guys are so progressive. They were dicks back then, all right? With the release of Call of Duty, teen pregnancy is down 50%. I support the Keep a Breast Foundation, but I would have called it the Keep Both Breasts Foundation. I guess I'm ambitious. I'm starting a new Facebook game. I'm starting a new game. It's called Arsonists. It's when you burn down everybody's Farmville who keeps sending you requests. Thanks guys, my name is Dominic Harris. <laughs>